Alright, that was a quick unboxing of this legend in 2020. Two years ago, if there was any phone which was almost perfect, which could offer all that you need to make a smartphone complete, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was the one. And even today I'm using this beast and never felt the need to upgrade to any other phones. Hey guys, welcome to Apex and this is a quick review on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 after two years. If you are one of those Samsung fans out there, then hit that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. Now let's get started. A lot of you out there might have already used this phone and upgraded to a new Note or any other phones. In this video, let's revisit this device and see how good is it after two years. I bought this phone by trading in my OnePlus 3T two years ago and since then it has never disappointed me at all. A perfect sandwich glass design with curved edges, back mounted fingerprint reader, along with that HR monitor which I have hardly used, a headphone jack which a lot of people still miss, and that iris scanner which has become obsolete and no more available on any other phones, that beautiful Quad HD display which is one of the best even today, the stereo speakers and IP ratings, this phone is packed with everything we needed and this was offered at a reasonable price for a flagship phone unlike today's flagships. I have the Exynos version here with 6GB RAM and 128GB storage and the performance of this phone has been obviously flagship grade and even today I can say it can handle anything and everything you throw at it. There is no heating issues, no battery drain issues, no lags even after 2 years. When I say lag, of course we do have Android typical lags here and there. Having said that, with the evolution of One UI, Samsung has been able to completely transform its infamous TouchWiz UI and offer a refreshing buttery smooth UI on this phone. And as usual, I have got two major Android updates and two major One UI updates till now. Obviously, there won't be any further updates on Android OS, but we might get another One UI update soon. A mammoth 4000 mAh battery made this phone more suitable for the features it offers. The battery performance has been fairly good and even today I am able to manage my entire day with moderate to heavy usage. When I got One UI 2.1 update recently, I did have issues with the battery but once I reset the phone, it went back to normal and started offering similar results. This battery has been quite supportive for gaming as well and that Quad HD screen provides an immersive experience. I spent a lot of time playing PUBG and many other games and apps. I was actually thinking that because of this heavy usage and recharging the battery more frequently, the lifespan may go down quickly. But I can say that the battery has not deteriorated, it is still doing great. The S Pen. This is something which has made me stick to Galaxy Note and I can't think about buying a phone without this S Pen. This makes your routines much easier, may it be taking notes, writing on screenshots and sharing it instantly, taking a selfie by using it as a remote and many more creative applications for S Pen has given it a unique identity in this ever growing smartphone market. The rear cameras are great on this phone but always had issues with the front camera in terms of camera quality. And I also felt the need of ultra wide shots which is not offered on this phone. Video quality is great, 4K recording is available as well. All in all this phone was a complete package in 2018 but is it still worth buying today let me share my thoughts. If you are on a tight budget and want to have the flagship Galaxy Note experience and can't afford those Note 10 Plus or Note 20 Ultras, I would say just blindly go for Note 9 and you can use it for the next 2 years or probably more without any problems at all. The flagship grade specifications are capable of handling everything even today. There are few things you will compromise such as 2 year old processor, no ultra wide cameras, no reverse charging no in-display fingerprint sensors, a slightly thicker bezel etc but if you are getting a good deal during the sale I think you should still go for this. The delta between this phone and the current Note flagships in terms of features and experience is lesser than the delta between them in terms of pricing. So it is absolutely value for money. Now that I have used Note 9 for 2 years I will be buying another phone but after the launch of Note 20 series I am totally confused about upgrading. I don't see the value in Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra seems to be a great device but for that hefty price I might get a Note 20 Plus and probably another smartwatch. Anyways I'll be deciding on that very soon. That's all I have here. It's been a great experience with Note 9 and even today I enjoy using it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Do subscribe and leave a like if you find this video useful. Until the next one you guys take care. Cheers bye bye.